Hey everyone, we got a package in the mail. Guess what it is? Uh, let me, let me get some things for it. Uh, I bought an induction heater board or a ZVS driver, a uh, zero voltage switching circuit. Well, first I can't open it if you don't know what it is. Here's just me giving you a heads up again. Uh, I explained it badly, so I'm gonna explain it in a voiceover, kind of like this. Um, so if you don't wanna, if you already know how it works, you just get this part. And if you don't know how any of this works, just continue on, unless you don't want to. Okay, I didn't like the way I explained this part, so I'm just gonna say that it uses an LC circuit, or an LC oscillator, inductor capacitor circuit and with those set of inductors and capacitors it oscillates at a given frequency when you apply voltage to it so here can you here you could just see me trying to explain it but this is all just garbage makes no sense so the mosfets they switch when it sees zero voltage hence the name zero voltage switching driver oscillator whatever it's based off of something called a um, bistable oscillator meaning it has two stable states wait no a stable oscillator no stable states and it just switches back and forth back and forth back and forth so when it sees zero volts it's going to switch more voltage into the inductor capacitor pair and charge it up then let go of the voltage and then send it out to the coil you know the thing you're used to heat up the metal yeah you can see me trying to explain it some more and then failing whatever besides the point yeah that's where it gets the name zero voltage switching driver from yeah and that changes the magnetic field uh so that's basically your zvs circuit super basic right uh although i can't build high voltage stuff because when i build high voltage stuff it just doesn't work i don't know why uh, probably because i'm broke i mean this ZVS driver was the cheapest one I could find. Amazon. We're going to change some stuff up with stuff that I do have. Like um, some reviews said that um, that the bus bar wasn't properly, properly designed. So they soldered a couple wires and it was fine. So I'm going to do that. You know, modify it a little bit. So uh, yeah. Let's tear it open. There it is. Look at that. That is so beefy looking. I thought it was going to be smaller. No, this thing is massive. We got the... Decomposing. Harbor Freight. Yeah. And there it is. Our zero voltage switching oscillator. Wow. Look at that. So beefy. We got two transistors. IRFP 26ONs. Okay. So here's our ground and VCC DC 12 to 30 volts input. It is strictly prohibited. Okay. Output B and output A. So basically, we're going to hook it up here. And then we can cook metal with it. Which should be really cool. All right. oh. So these are the bus bars, I assume. Right? That's what they are. The bus bars. Um, there's not much solder on them, I will say. Not much. Uh, yeah, I would redesign the bus bars. Maybe a little thicker. Maybe these heat sinks look a little too tiny. But... I have several heat sinks. 
I got more. And I got more. And more. And more. And more. And one of these we can use for this. Which one shall I use? Preferably one with a fan. This one. Yeah, that's like a perfect size. I could just go on like right there, give it a little bit of fresh airflow. Yeah, that looks good. Tiny. Technically all I need all I need is a fan, but yeah, actually no, this is a bad idea. You think it doesn't go anywhere. These things are not the best, actually. Fans are what we want. Let's install these little standoffs here. Yeah. I was going to put classical music in place of this. But then I figured out people used it in their videos and they got copyright strike, so I didn't want to take the chance. So that I can get monetized and make some good content for you guys. So instead of classical music, you're just going to hear me singing like this all the time. It kind of sucks, but oh well. Perfect. Look at that. Whatever. There we go. Look at that. There we have our in ground and VCC. Yeah, I have our big several watt resistors. And then we have our outputs here. Let's screw in our outputs. Should I use this? Nah, these are two. I do not want a copyright strike, so I'm gonna sing this song. Yeah, I, I tried to make a ZVS driver, but I failed, of course. So I just resorted to buying it online. This is the same exact chest, except this time I need to sneeze really badly, and I still don't want a copyright strike. Got a handheld induction heater now. Mm -hmm. mm. That is if it even works. I don't know, but we will see. Okay, I'm gonna get some wires soldered onto a DC jack. And I'll be right back. I got a DC jack or just a barrel jack connected up. So now we can plumb it all in and hope for no explosions. Yeah, why would there be explosions? Yeah, all right, it can't be explosions. I just bought this. Gonna run it at 12 volts. It's gonna be fine. Okay, here's my power supply. It's just a variable thing with the brand Power. Okay, it's set to 12 volts. Let us see what happens. Okay. Nothing bad happened. Let's see if we can cook stuff. Let's turn it off. This is the clip where I found out it was copyright. So you're just going to have to hear me sing like this again. Bye bye. I smell something. I'm cooking it. <laughs> Look, it's orange. Oh wow, that is hot. Oh, smoke. What the hell is burning? 
something is burning. Oh, coil's hot. Oh, my screwdriver definitely got hot. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, that is hot. Ooh. <laughs> uh, the everything definitely got hot, yeah. Oh, okay, it's just the coating from the wires. Good. We're all good. We can still cook metal. Ooh. Okay. I have an idea. There it is. Oh, I'm gonna hook up a transformer to it and see what we can produce. This thing can cook metal, surely. It can do more than cook metal. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I'm gonna have to remove the clip. There you go. Okay, now output plus. It doesn't matter, it's a transformer. Now we plug it in. Actually, let's support this with something. Yeah. Just like that. Just wants to go there. That'd be bad. Okay. What the hell was that? Is this the transformer? What the hell was making that noise? Whoa. Eh. Eh. I need a better transformer. It's a bad transformer here. Ah. Oh well. Let's continue cooking metal. Maybe we can use it to drive a Tesla coil. But that could be a future video. Oh, I mean, it should work, right? Okay, let's get our induction heater coil back okay i'm gonna make sure it's firm because as we all know a, a nice firm connection uh has the least amount of resistance so you gotta make it a nice firm connection not a loose one right if your outlet wiggles that's bad replace it your outlet should never wiggle okay Now we can cook metals. I'm getting kind of tired of singing all the time. Oh my god, you see that? That is red hot. Look at that. Damn. That is red hot. I should not drop that. Look at it. Oh my goodness, this thing is crazy. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is incredible. How hot are the MOSFETs? Hot, yeah. Let's definitely install some air circulation here. Uh, be right back. So I installed this fan here and just turn on the lights so now it should be a little cooler while we're cooking metal hmm, let's just try that again that is so crazy okay power up now we have a fan to keep everything cooler And we can turn off the lights. Oh man. I have been singing for ages already. Oh, if only they just be not copyright. Yeah, everything is nice and cool while we're extreme cooking metal. 
my goodness look at that it's a little hard to see this yeah. let me cover the light look at that it's like a lamp what is happening Okay, let's turn it off. Everything is nice and cool to the touch. Very nice. Yeah. This has to get to at least a thousand degrees. Maybe even more. It's magnetic. Oh, right, yeah. This literally just produces a bunch of magnetic fields. Because you gotta think, right? Here's how it works. Let me move this out of the way. Here's my sheet of paper. Basically, imagine this metal, right? I didn't explain this one very good either. Uh, it's pretty simple though. Atoms in the metal, magnetic. They move around according to the magnetic fields and they twist and move around and friction goes in between them and they move around start shaking really hard you know like when you heat up something except the magnetic fields that are alternating causes the friction which causes heat uh yeah you, that's how it works goes. induction heating works pretty cool yeah, this is a good $12 right here. Yeah, I added a little extra solder to the bus bars because I figured out that they don't have actually any solder on them from factory. So I just added a little bit of solder and now we should be good. Well, let me know what you want me to do with this um, in the next video and I'll see you later. Bye. I'll do some research on what I can do with this. Uh, maybe I can feed it into, uh, a multiplier circuit and then make, it's hot? Yeah, it's pretty hot. Maybe I can feed this into a voltage multiplier and create thousands of volts or even kilovolts for that matter. Yeah. Okay, so bye. Uh, see you in the next induction heater video or just ZVS circuit driver video. Whatever, you get the point, bye.